Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what you need to do to create a cool looking airsoft patch even if you have zero experience uh, using design softwares. Um, so a little bit about me quickly is that I, I'm a designer by day so I use this uh, software that you can see in front of you constantly all the time. Um, but yeah, so throughout this video, I'm just going to show you quickly how to put together a patch so that you guys can go out there and make your own ones. So today I'm going to be using Adobe Illustrator um, and just to show you how it's done. If you don't already have that installed on your laptop uh, or your computer, don't worry. I'll add a link in the description to where you can get a free seven day trial. Um, so... Yeah, so on the link you'll see here, it will say download uh, free trial, um, start a free trial, click that one, and then go over to or the left hand side, start free trial. So this one is seven days free, but then it's uh, basically 20 quid a month. Make sure to cancel it if you don't want to carry it on. Um, seven days is plenty of time, you know, if you put a good, you know, I made this in half an hour. Um, well, I don't know however long this video is I made it in. Um, yeah, you know, it's, it's not going to take you seven days to make this. Um, so you have plenty of time to adjust it. And yeah, so yeah, without further ado, let's crack on. So once you've downloaded Illustrator, what you're going to want to do is to go over to create new and uh, make sure you have these settings set up make sure that looks okay yep that's all good and start that up so now you'll see it opened up a, a square so first thing you wanted to, wanted what I'm going to be doing is setting up the rulers so let's put that on there and that one there cool all right so at least we know where the center is start from the center and I think we're going to start off with creating just a basic square so move up a bit move that down so this is going to act as the shield um, let's actually I'll tell you what let's make some more rulers there you go so I'm always using rulers to determine where I'm putting these lines to make sure everything's symmetrical and then I will if if you wonder you know how how I'm doing certain things you know just on YouTube there's loads of tutorials and you've got plenty of time to uh, sort this out so as you see there I've set out the shield and now I'm going to curve the edges I'm not a big fan of those straight edges so I'm gonna curve all of them like so out the way So here what I'm doing is I'm just duplicating the path. Um, so essentially when you, let's say you go to get this uh, printed, um, then the inner path can be used as stitches or if you're not gonna get this printed and it's only gonna be digital then it still looks cool. So now we have the shield uh, finished. I haven't put any colors in, but this is I'm happy with this. We're going to focus on um, placing the text. Um, but before we do that, I want to make sure that there's also another area to put a design in. So I'm just going to do what I did earlier. So path, expand, offset path, sorry. Uh, make that smaller mm. no, I'm not a big fan of that let's just change it yeah that's good and then I'm just going to drop these two here so in this top bit is where I'm going to put the text and in the bottom bit is where I'm going to be putting the design 
So for this, let's just put bear shot. Um, yeah, we'll call it bear shot airsoft. I'm sorry if there's anyone out there called bear shot airsoft. I'm not meaning to uh, take your name, but I just thought for just for this purpose, I'm using it. Don't sue me. <laughs> cool. So I think just in there's nicely. Make sure it's uh, centered in that little spot. See, a lot of thing about a lot of uh, design revolves around spacing. So, you know, if you pa if you pack too many things together, it's going to look terrible. Um, so, I'm just going to adjust this a bit. Make sure that's nice. So, yeah. Cool. I'm happy with that. Right, so now we're going to be uh, adding the design. So I've taken um, a vector from online, uh, a free vector that we can use. I recommend you guys do the same. Uh, if you guys want to edit that, then feel free to do so. So for now, I've just taken this bear. Now you see why I've called it bear shot. Du -dum -dum uh, and yeah, so I'm just going to take that and copy it into the design. Okay, so let's make that smaller, center that, lovely, right, so let's make sure everything's, oh no, there you go, make sure that's centered, always double check with your rulers if everything's uh, centered, so the last thing you want is for it to go out for print and realize something's not centered. So you see here now it's come together. Um, I am now going to try and add a path. Let's. So I'm offsetting the path to add a outline to the bear now. Um, again, similar. I'm just changing this so it's like that. Lovely. Boom. Right now I need to. That doesn't look right. Okay, bear with me. Um, bear with me. I'm going to fix this and I'll be right back. Two hours later. That, that, bish bash bong. Boom. And there you go. There you go. Oh. Yeah, I need to make sure it's uh, centered. So there you go. There you go, lovely. Right, so now that's basically all done. So now we have the the basis of our patch. Um, what I feel like doing, I might add a bit of color at the moment. I mean, you can wait until it's all done to add color. Um, no, I just want to add color because why not? It's always nice to see your work in color. Right, let's put a nice little, mm, a bit orangey brown because it's a bear maybe no no so I I do want the shield to be uh, black or do I hmm. well I'll figure that one out so yeah maybe a goldy a goldy color would do so once you've sorted out the color there you go yeah I'm gonna make the the lines also in the same color as that that then turn it over put the stroke back there you go so it's coming together it's coming together quite nicely actually better than I thought it was going to turn out to be <laughs> so as you can see all the shapes here apart from the vector that I've downloaded online I've you know it's super simple you could all do this yourselves um, and I'm just showing you how I would do it so that you guys can take your own uh, designs and just yeah I'm gonna add a little eyeball on this bear because for some reason it didn't come up come with the second eyeball. So I'm gonna add a little terminator eye. Yeah, nice. I will I am going to give it 
turn it slightly. There you go. Just so it's roughly the same shape as the other eye. Yeah, it adds a little bit of uh, just something different. Um, I strongly recommend you guys do something similar. It does obviously it doesn't have to be the eyes, but whenever you download Vector, make sure first of all if it's free, um, if you have to credit the the illustrator who made it. Um, I would personally go for ones that you don't have to. Um, but yeah, just you know, just to be safe. If you have an account with Shutterstock or any other service, then use that to find your illustrations and then just edit. So what I'm doing now is I'm working on the banner. So this part it's gonna be where it says airsoft, otherwise it just says bash. Airsoft. I mean, you can have it like that, you know, you can have it as a finished piece, but I'm going to choose to add airsoft in there um, because why not? Again, a line up. There you go. Right, and now I want to arc it. So you go over to effects. Boom. Let's reduce that by quite a bit. So there are different things you see there. So I'm going to stick to arc. Uh, I'm going to drop. Um, yeah, let's. Yeah, let's. Uh, see, I'm not a big fan of that bear at the that bear uh, at the bottom. So I'm going to need to hide that. So I might have to bring the bear up. You'll see why I'm doing that. So then I've got a little space at the bottom. Um, so let's add a stroke onto that as well. Same width as the others. And now you'll be able to see me write the lovely word airsoft. So, sorry, um, I feel like I'm just blabbing away. I'm not used to doing two things at once. Um, oh. I don't know why I tried that. Let's go back a bit. Yeah, I I think I prefer it that way. And then I'm going to expand it just so it goes out from the sides. Yeah, that's much better. Again, the same thing with the stroke, so add that to make it the same. So we have it like this. Right. There's a lot of fiddling about, as you, you know, you're probably, you go probably really bored of just seeing this mouse move left, right, and just moving things a small pixel at a time. But trust me, it is necessary, you know might be being a bit too a bit oh, now I've got me started right let's move that center the text so now I'm going to be adding the airsoft in center that and again I'm going to be arcing it um, the same way as I did earlier with the banner I just need to make sure that it will fit in there nicely. So should I change the font? So I'm using Gotham as a font. Um, it's a downloaded font. Not everyone does have access to that. I strongly recommend uh, downloading a, a font. So a good way to do that is going on Google Fonts, and I'll post the link down down below. Google Fonts have uh, you know hundreds and hundreds of different styles of fonts. Um, yeah, I strongly recommend Google Fonts. I wouldn't use the ones you guys uh, have set up on your computer as it is. So there you go. So you see that that's roughly. I'm just gonna alter that slightly. So that's roughly in the right spot. Um, make sure that's good. That'll do. Right, 
So now I will, yeah, I felt like making that white, you know, feels a bit different. So now we're going to be focusing on the stars. Uh, so, yeah, let's put some stars on the side there. Same on the other side and below. Um, just to, you know, in the military, there are obviously stars to represent rank. Um, there's no meaning towards how many stars for me on this patch. Um, but apart from that, it looks good. So, is that my dog snoring? Sorry about that. So, as I was saying, um, yeah, so I'm going to add the stars. So let's start adding those, make sure I get the right shape. Um, it is very, if you haven't got this set up already, it's a bit annoying to make sure it's right. There you go. Right. Yeah. Put in. Now, so yeah, we're going to just put a few stars in now and see what it looks like once that's done. So this is all uh, all good and so once ready to, you're uh, happy to with be the saved design, out now. Uh, it's time to save out. Obviously, save throughout. Um, I forgot to do it, but just for this case, then I'm going to be showing you how to the correct way of saving it. Uh, so you go to File, uh, you go to Export and Export As, um, and then you have a selection in the Where tag. Uh, not the Where tag, sorry. You go to Format, and they'll have a selection. Um, on what kind of format uh, I you know recommend PNG uh, scale the uh, the canvas not your artwork I can scale the canvas to a decent size and maybe a square a bit smaller so that your patch takes more space um, but if you're getting it print I would use Illustrator EPS so you can find that if instead of export you go to save as and go to Illustrator EPS. Um, the reason why you don't use Illustrator is because you might not have it in the s in seven days. So EPS, keep it safe. It's still a vector. It will still work. You'll still be able to open it in Illustrator. Other softwares will be able to open it. Um, but yes, it's just safer. So once you do click that, change it, change the name. So I'm going to choose obviously Bear Shot Airsoft uh, Patch. Yep, and obviously choose where you want it. I'm just going to save and download for now make sure that's all good yeah and press OK and it will save and there you go you have your saved finalized patch um, see this is where you can you know fit it if you want you know you fit it as you like um, but yeah this is uh, essentially it your final I'm at, well, actually ex don't forget to expand appearance at the end. Make a copy and expand appearance and then click expand and you want to make sure all of those are clicked and press OK. So this means you can resize it as big as you want. So instead of resizing the canvas, resize the up. Uh, I know what I said earlier. Forget what I said earlier. Resize the design as you please and save it out. It's better to have it too big and then it will compress it smaller. And that's how you create a patch. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you leave a comment, like, and subscribe. Um, if there's anything else you need to know, feel free to drop a message um, or comment or whatever. I, I'm always happy to answer anything. Um, but yeah, just hope you enjoyed it, guys. And uh, I'll be uploading, hopefully, something in the next couple of weeks again. Bye.